Hello and welcome everyone, Invisible here with you and this is Ruby Grim Eclipse. Um, this is a game that's based on the Red trailer from Rooster Teeth um, and their show Ruby, the CGI show that's the first ever American show that I saw in my life about 3D animation uh, CGI characters. Anyway, um, I got a nice guy called Jordan Scott made this game by his own that's, uh, as I told you before, based on a trailer for Red, which is Ruby Rose and this is basically a demo for the full game, which is... I'm not really sure when will it be released at all since Jordan Scott um, contacted Monty, the creator of Ruby. Anyway, in this uh, little game demo, I will be showing you the main uh, gameplay um, play, playing through, and let's just begin it. You will be controlling Ruby Rose, and your uh, mission is basically just to survive as long as you can. That's all, really. Um, I'm going to LP this uh, game as uh, much as I as uh, so much as I can for this survival, and until this one minute for the next wave expires, I will tell you uh, very quick uh, about this game's interface. First of all, if you uh, press Escape, this is the party which only you have here, Rubros. Um, you have items here, potion. Um, the items, I do believe you will not have anything but potion in this game. Um, you have weapon, crimson throws, um, armor, cloth armor, and ammunition, normal magazine. The stats over here, strength, special defense, resistance, health, and aura. Um, assignment, you can... Um, this um, window is totally pointless, really. Techniques, you have here agility and shift. <coughs> when you level up, this thing will be filling in. Status, the except that you need to experience points that you need to level up health and ma and uh, action points, which is the aura points. Magic. Um, basically, you will be seeing me um, running through these lists as fast as I can throughout the gameplay. The entire uh, interface like here is like Kingdom Hearts. If you press tab, it will change over here. And if you press enter, the next wave will come. Space for jumping. Uh, w, S, D, and A for the movement. Uh, lift Alt to change from the scythe into the rifle forms, which is most of the time worthless. F is for the action, which is going. To, we are going to get to it later. R uh, for the reload. Now let's uh, focus on the next wave. This is Ruby Rose, by the way, which I'm going to show you her model later. LP. When you press E, you can uh, use the rifle ammunition to fire at your enemies. Your uh, enemies over here, as Jordan uh, Scott said, are called Beowulfs, which are some kind of black lichens, werewolves. If you see the trailer for Ru Red for Ruby Rose on the Rooster Teeth channel, you will be able <coughs> to see the same thing almost happening. Vault allows you to, uh, to jump twice. About the model herself, not that much really. She has the little white rose on her belt, as well as the ammunition uh, pocket. Her face is very uh, basic, 
Um, the model for the site itself is not that hard, really. The Crescent Rose. As you can see over here, the details and such. Um, the style of the drawing reminds me a lot about... Uh, Telltale's uh, type of... Uh, drawing. Here, uh, <coughs> her trademarked cap. And right now I can double jump. Now enough commentary and let's go to the next wave. From this moment on I will be commenting as little as possible since I need to progress more in the game. Depending on how many slashes you give with the scythe you will have different types of combos. The more you level up the more special abilities you will unlock. That's all really. And the more waves you fight through, the more stuff you will get. If I ever learned anything from this game, is never stop moving. Buster shot. Your first ever special power. And my <coughs> advice for it, do not use it unless you really need it. And only for the big groups. If you press escape while like this, you'll enter the pose mode. Which everything in here will go ragged uh, doll mode in it. Just putting it out. In this game you don't have automatic reload. You need to reload it manually. Seven mags. Okay. LP. If I have any type of specific um, advice for this game, try to go with the rhythm of this music to be able to finish them faster a little bit. The AI <coughs> in this game is not very good, neither very bad. It's quite nice. It's just how many waves you can survive, that's all. By the way, sometimes if you shut them only once and ignore them, they will get really enraged. If you uh, press caps lock, you will look on them and you will see the health bar that they have. Dodge roll with a Q, you can dodge by rolling. <coughs> Ethereal takes 25% of damage from your aura when remaining and remaining. 75 of your health gauge. <sighs> Potions. LP. Reload. Try always to go to the nearest one for your side in order to finish them faster. As much as you can try to keep that strolling whenever you need it. Or whenever just you're passing by. Okay, that's bad. Sometimes they just die from this stuff. The game does have some times glitches when they just stand still freezing. Whoever saw the show must have wanted always to play as one of the girls. Ruby, Whis, Yang and Blake. So what do you have? Games. Five. All good. One potion. LP. Let's play. 
with five. According to Scott and his uh, manual, if you can reach maximum wave 10, or at actually, if you can reach level 10, you have officially beat the game. The rest of the it will be just about how much you can survive, that's all. Okay, that was for nothing, most of time. Okay. It's bad. Out, out. Okay. That was not really a nice of you. Basically, the game just keeps like this. The enemies are not going to get harder or anything else. They will just be more. And their AI will be this, just the same. Um, it's just about survival, really. If you like this uh, type of video, please tell me so I can make some more attempts for it. You only have one life. If your uh, life gauge goes to zero, it's done. Game over. Which I don't really want to it to happen very fast. This game is about kind of um, challenging yourself to see how far there can you go. I think you knew. 50, 90. Everything done? LP. I'll try at least <coughs> today to reach with 10. Normally I would reach about to wave 15 or 20. When you level up a little bit more into the game, you will be able to get more, much useful attacks. As you can see over here, when I use uh, bus, uh, Buster Shot, my Thief goes to the rifle mode and rejects to open up again, which is bad, since when it's in the rifle mode, it is in its most minimum damage dealing um, stats. In fact, when it's in the rifle mode, you cannot even make any hit. Look at this. You cannot. Basically, you will die if you stay in the rifle mode for too long, since you have limited t types of ammo. <coughs> the game kind of has got this type of Devil May Cry to Kingdom Hearts to it. It's about combo making and at the same time it has this survival. I'm recording using fraps and I hope everything is going well. Ouch. Attack from the grave. Haste. Makes you reload your f uh, gun much faster. Okay. Seventy-nine. LP. What his does basically it makes you reload your gun much faster, so you can have more time to react to the attacks. A pro advice for you, never let them team up against you. If you can uh, press left alt instantly, once uh, Ruby finishes executing Buster Shot, you can always get one uh, extra jump cancel and instantly continue up your attacks. Chain. 